Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing a uh, moto vlogging setup. I have a Quantum J RI helmet uh, on which I'll be uh, doing the front chimped uh, GoPro setup. I have the Hero 4 Black. I got the skeleton housing in order to connect the 3.5mm mic adapter. And I also have the um, Olympus ME51S um, stereo microphone uh, that I had from a while ago so I'll try to to reuse it and this is the cable that came with it in order to uh, set up the camera uh, we will be using this oval oval mount from GoPro So the reason why you'll need to be using this uh, adapter is because uh, GoPro uh, does not have a 3.5 millimeter microphone in. So basically it acts as a converter into a mini USB that GoPro has here on the side. And this is where the cable goes. So okay, let's start opening some boxes. Okay, so the, uh, the reason why you need the skeleton housing uh, is because, again, for the, this cable to get in while it's housed, you need this opening here. Otherwise, with the original case, here I have just here, you can compare. So this is the... Uh, this is the case that you get with the GoPro and as you can see uh, this is the extension for the um, LCD backpack but as you can see it does not have a gap for you to insert the microphone and this one does okay let's open the cable So we have the cable here. Let's see. Okay, so the way this will work is we have this cable that I got with the microphone. Microphone goes in here. this and the microphone will plug right in here and now you, there you have it so this is how it's gonna work okay uh, let's get started with the setup. Okay, so first let's place the uh, sticker on the mount. Just press, press the sticker so the adhesive can kick in. OK. 
and as you can see this one is oval so which which will uh, I'm sure you can use the uh, the one that's straight but you probably need to add a bit more stickers on the side but what's nice about this one is that uh, hopefully depending on your helmet design it will go around um, you know the helmet quite nicely but yeah let's see once we're done okay so we got this done okay so let's have a better look at the helmet so we will hopefully place it right here as you can see some it has a little bit of a crease here uh, but I think this this surface here should be enough all right so I have the sticker ready now and we'll put it right on the chin here uh, I just opened the vent here to check that it doesn't get into the way should be fine so let's try to get this thing on all right so I just took out this piece so I, you can uh, what you want to do is you want to get a um, you want to press this harder inside it looks pretty good to me you know it really depends on what sort of helmet you have let's change to the other adapter So uh, for this mount, I, as you can see, I just added one small extension. Um, I don't know, maybe I, I, did, I don't need it, but I just thought you may, uh, depending on your helmet, you may need one so you can get, you know, you have more, a little bit more space in terms of adjusting the angle, getting that right shot. So, okay, let's see how this fits. Okay, so now we have the camera mounted. I think it looks pretty cool. And let's get the uh, microphone connected. Spin this around here underneath to make some space. And there you go. Okay, so before we put the microphone in, um, with this mic I could not find the uh, windbreaker. So basically I just got like a little sponge that I cut out and then uh, hopefully it will help reduce the wind noise so I'm just gonna wrap it around here so hopefully it, it will do it will help ok 
Okay, and there you go. Alright, so I try to find a place for the microphone inside the helmet. There's some more space inside here, we can push it in. And then some tape to keep it in place. So now that we're almost ready to go, uh, one thing that I saw uh, that may help reduce the uh, the wind noise is wind noise is having sort of like a windbreaker right here. Uh, now I couldn't find one uh, for this very helmet, but just for now, uh, I'll try placing some sort of cloth cloth around here, and then we'll go test. How that how that works so basically I'll, I'll do something like this but I'll just put it more inside okay guys so this is the final result so we got here is the oval mount um, with the small extension. Here is one another small extension. This is the skeleton case with the GoPro USB 3.5 millimeter to mini USB converter. And inside uh, we have this is the this is the uh, improvised wind guard. To reduce the wind noise so let's see how that works and you can see the microphone it's a little bit harder to see but you can see where the microphone is mounted okay let's go see how it works okay guys so let's see how this will work Need to go fill up the tank. Let me. I need to stop the video quickly just to check how the field of view is. Okay, guys. So. This is the first ride with the uh, new setup. So as mentioned earlier, for this setup, uh, I'm using the GoPro Hero 4 Black uh, chin mounted. Uh, it's in a skeleton uh, GoPro skeleton housing. Uh, plus, we're using a uh, Olympus stereo microphone, and to connect that to the GoPro, I added the uh, 3.5. Uh, millimeter to mini USB adapter from GoPro uh, just some small modifications that I did to the mic uh, I just out of sponge I cut out the shape so I can wrap the mic around it maybe it's gonna help with the wind noise and I just placed uh, a little bit of cloth uh, just uh, around the chin area of the helmet uh, so hopefully that will also help break down some of the wind that will get into the helmet
and it so right now I really don't have any idea how the sound is nice sound uh, but uh, let's see once uh, I download the footage it should be interesting so guys let me know what you think if you got any suggestions leave a comment below